If you yeah. I should, I cut the skin. Ah. You're not gonna remove them, right? Oh, you just no, make them no, nice. This don't. It's not. Hard. Thanks, man. I like your shoes, too. Hello, and welcome back to One Star Reviews. My hair is growing a bit long. I haven't had a haircut probably in about three months. It's uh, beginning to go over the ears. Definitely going to want this beard groomed because, as you can see, it's quite unruly. Also, I'm probably going to try to get the eyebrows done because uh, they're feeling a little crazy. I guess you could say we're just getting the works, and hopefully they uh, don't cut my ear off. Welcome to One Star Reviews. Today, getting a haircut. All right, so far I'm seeing a lot of five stars, a couple four and a halfs, and I'm gonna go all the way to page nine. So I've just stumbled upon Alex Barbershop, and they seem like they have a bunch of one star reviews. I asked for a standard boy cut, but they shaved my little boy's whole head. Your kid needs a haircut. I strongly suggest that you don't. When the owner saw me with the stroller, he didn't even offer helping me at the stairs and was rude from the start. So apparently they're really awful with kids at this place, but I'm not really a kid anymore, so... Alex, this one's for you. Go fuck yourself, you fuck. I didn't give him a tip because of the false advertising. He got in my face and threatened to take it outside. He will not listen to you. Let me repeat that he will not listen he to you. He bragged during the haircut that he could beat anybody up and how tough he was. He asked who the last person to cut my hair was, and it was him. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you get the dad, it's going to be a bad cut. If you get the son, it's going to be a bad cut. And I'm going to go and test all of their skills, from the hair, to the eyebrows, to the beard. Let's do this. So Alex Barber is a family-owned business run by a father and son with equally bad reviews. I'm unable to make an appointment, so I'm rolling the dice and I'll just see who I get. We've arrived uptown and we sent our producer in and He's uh, been in there for a while, so I'm a little scared. I hear that the guy won't put a microphone on. I hope everything works out, because I really want this haircut. After some pleading, I was granted entry, but under strict rules. Just a cut and a 15 minute window. Hi, how are you? Hi. How's it going? It's good, you want I'm a haircut? Taji. Do you have any photos I can check out? Not a photo. A photo is the truth. You think 30 is good? It's pretty nice. Um... No way was I going for the 30. I don't want a kid's cut, especially not in here after some of the reviews I've read. Ooh, you know what I like? Can you, you think you could do a number 20? I like that. Yeah. You can do the beard like that? Cool. With the look fully locked in, I was ready for my transformation. Not a kid, huh? What's up? Not a kid. Nah. Not a kid. Huh? You said not a kid? No, a lot of hair. Oh, a lot of hair. Oh, sorry. You cut, do you cut this guy's hair? Yeah. It looks pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. All right. That's good guy. Did you hire him to come here so it looks like you did a good job? <laughs> Have you ever done like a design? Design? Yeah. Well, I make it in back a V. A V? If you want to do a Z, it's, new, it's new start, 2018. Yeah? 2017 D. It's too old, no good. Okay. What do you think? I think the V could be cool. Oh. So you do people of all ages, no, never a I'm, problem. I'm doctor for this, doctor. Maybe professor sometimes. Yeah, Somebody use one blade for one uh, day to change for everybody. Really? You want, you want. Yeah. yeah, that seems best. Probably yeah. it's more sanitary to change the blade. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So you do a few different things in this barber shop, yeah. not just the hair. Two different cleaners. Yeah. So I think I got a hair. Sometimes in my cooking mouth, too, so. egg and cheese. Sorry, I think I just have a little hair. Thank you. 
So far so good, but the antique headrest was starting to dig into the back of my head. But while I had Alex Barber's undivided Ooh. attention- Sorry, I just gotta rest one sec, this is like a- Sorry. Okay, we're good. It felt like the perfect time to get his feedback on some of the negative reviews. I was checking out a few of the reviews. Someone mentioned, I don't know, that it wasn't a great place for kids. And they said something about, like, if you use scissors, you it could cost more. I mean, you, you seem pretty nice. I'm just wondering why, maybe where they got their idea. Is there any sort of like thing you could? Okay. The headrest issue was distracting me from my mission, so I was excited for the luxury part of the experience the head massage. There's like a hard thing behind me though. There's just this like kind of... You're gonna see how much you give me to do. Right. After that. Before no. Tough customer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. I told you if you give me... They had gone to the effort of putting a sign up declaring the people of Yelp loved them. Perhaps they had been misrepresented, and these reviews were actually just from a bunch of annoying customers. Have you ever had any annoying customers yeah. ever, though, you have to deal with? No. If you're hungry with no lunch, time. That's about it? Yeah, if you no lunch, no the breakfast, maybe somebody. That's why I'm working faster. Got it. You ready for lunch? So that way you don't, not you don't, me, not me, oh, customer. I see customers. So as long as the customers had lunch, usually they're all right. If you know lunch, you know tea, this, you know. Mm. You ready for that? Whoa, you weren't, yeah, you weren't playing right? games with the V. Mm. Nice, Can we get a photo? We'll see. Thank you. Alex had honored me with my own very place on the photo board. This is it. Is this where we go our separate ways? With my fresh new look, I found an opportunity to talk to Alex's son and colleague about one review in particular that was really getting to me. Parents came in giving a technology phone and the barber got distracted, you know, because the kid would not pay attention. So the barber cut it in the finger, told the parent to take the phone, put it away. But they think it's like Starbucks, you know, add some vanilla, add some this, this, that. But a simple haircut, you say what you want, we do it. For sure. The chairs are comfortable, so you don't stay in those. Oh, the salon is like here, huh? Yeah, number 20. Thank you. Make you feel like chilled out, you know? For sure. I was definitely off to a rocky start when showing up at Alex's barber shop. I asked him about some of the negative reviews, which he deflected as if they were all positive. Perhaps he is living in his own world, where all he is here to do is cut hair and not worry about pleasing anyone. Understandable. I was there to get my hair cut, and that is what he did, and a hell of a job at it. The fade is on point, and the V in the back was a nice added 2018 flair, according to Alex, that is. However, I was extremely uncomfortable the entire time as the sharp headrest dug in the back of my neck. At the end, I got to chat with his son, who gave me more insight on the negative reviews. People definitely do overreact and take things to heart when sometimes the barber is not to blame. Alex's dedication to barber tradition and attention to details was definitely impressive. Even though I felt as if I could be kicked out at any given moment, I do not regret the experience because I got an awesome haircut. Hey, maybe barbers are not supposed to be nice. If you do go there, keep your mouth shut, don't complain about the prices, don't take out your cell phone, and you'll get a good cut. Easy to find a nice girl, Chinese. Chinese girl, Chinese girl? Maybe. Chinese girl is good. Don't lose money too much. Is this the kind of haircut you think uh, potentially a Chinese girl could like? Yeah. 